I can't believe I'm about to do this, but here we are. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna break down how to make my next level thumbnails using Canva. This is gonna be beginner friendly and zero design skills required. Do not underestimate this method. This will put you in the top 1% of thumbnail creators. We're talking about thumbnails that hook people's neuro reward system pathways and don't let them scroll away without clicking. All right, so I'm gonna do this real time without a lot of editing so you get a good understanding on how to do this. So we're gonna start by searching up Canva, going to create a design and then YouTube YouTube thumbnail. So you're going to select the background, come up to this little circle, and then you're going to edit it and go to gradient. The style we're going to choose is going to be this circular gradient. So we're going to select the first color, we'll go blue theme I think. We might change a few things as we go, but we'll start with a blue and then we'll go lighter blue. So we got our foundation. So my top two are ChatGPT4 and this one, but I find when creating characters, uh, this is a lot more consistent. And then as you can see up here, for the free version, you get 50 credits a day and each one takes five. So my favorite prompt to use is a Pixar themed image. Just to, I usually do around three and then pick the best one. I'm just gonna quickly look through these all. Yeah, these don't look like him. He's a bit fat in this one. This one's not bad, we'll go with this one. So we just press download. This next website we're gonna go to is a hidden gem I found and it's freaking amazing. All right, it's called Text Studio. So basically, if you go to effects, it's gonna give you all these colorful 3D fonts. So I found this yellow one that I like. I'm gonna select it and then you can type in whatever you want. In styles and all this, you can actually change the color. So I'm gonna change it to a blue. So I have a few blue colors I like, and I'm gonna turn the pattern opacity down because I don't love that. And I'm gonna click download. Now you do have to pay, it's like $5 a year if you wanna get the max resolution and actually have um, the rights to use it. So then I select max and then PNG transparent, and I'm gonna download that as well. So once you've dragged your images into Canva, they will pop into your uploads. We can click the Trump image and will appear. We're gonna hit edit image and then background remover. And we'll just automatically take up the background for us. We can resize him a bit here. Another thing I like to do is hit adjust, turn up brightness, contrast, vibrance, sometimes the sharpness and then saturation a little bit. Don't overdo it with any of these, which I did. I overdid it. So now we have something that looks like this. Now we're gonna bring in our text from our uploads. Click on it. We're going to resize this text. We're going to slide it up. And then we're going to hit position and slide it behind Trump. Sometimes we can just bring them down a little bit. For this short example, I'm not gonna get everything perfect, but when I'm actually doing this, I take like maybe an hour or two just to play around with different colors. A good way to do that is to hit duplicate page and then you can play around and then compare, pick which one you like and then delete the one you don't like. So for this one, what I might do next is go to the Canva elements, search for ice cream. Sometimes it helps to do 3D. There we go. Place it kind of out right there, position. Drag that behind Trump. I like to take the items from the back, press edit image, hit blur whole image and then I'll drag up the intensity a little bit and we'll blur the background images. We'll look for one more ice cream. This one has lots of colors. So we'll go like this, position, drag it behind and blur it. Now like I said, I like to experiment. So I'll go duplicate page, select the background. Maybe I'll try more of a reddish pink. You get the idea, right? Like I did this in what, five minutes. It's not gonna look perfect. Like I said, I do spend usually about an hour getting the right AI image, the right colors, the right text. But this gives you a good idea, a good structure, a good foundation to build whatever thumbnail you wanna build. Please drop a like and a comment. It motivates me to make more videos like this.